This podcast is brought to you by the School of Advanced Study, University of London. My name's Anne Smith and I'm from New Zealand, from the University of Otago in New Zealand and I'm in London uh, based at the School of Advanced Studies on a visiting professorship uh, which is uh, based in the New Zealand UK Link Foundation and the purpose of that is to uh, look at links between New Zealand and the UK and uh, my interest I suppose that links in with the School of Advanced Studies is in human rights. Um, well my four lectures that I'm going to give as part of my fellowship are around the theme of children's rights. They start from moral issues about things that children are entitled to and uh, then they look at the links between that and research and, and policy. The first is um, about uh, children's right to uh, good education, a good start in life and particularly early childhood education. So although the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child doesn't say too much about early childhood education, there's been a general comment which says that um, it's very important for children's reaching their potential and for their well-being. So I'm looking at some of the developments in policy that happened in New Zealand, um, particularly um, the way that we integrated care and education for young children because you really can't separate those two things and uh, more recently that we've improved the quality of the experiences that young children get in early childhood education by making sure they have a really fabulous curriculum and uh, mostly trained um, professionally qualified staff. The second lecture is probably the most controversial one and that's about children's right not to be physically punished. And New Zealand is the first English speaking country in the world to abolish physical punishment of children. There are 33 other countries in the world that have abolished it but doesn't include the UK or Canada or Australia or the United States so quite an interesting case. The third uh, lecture is about child protection. Um, it's about children who are vulnerable because they've been involved with abuse or neglect or one of their parents has been mentally ill. Their parents haven't been able to look after them for one reason or another and uh, in most cases that means that the state has to take over their care, although there are ways in which parents can be provided with support um, if the services are available. So uh, um, it, in New Zealand at the moment we're having a big rethink about um, child protection issues because we've got very high rates of abuse and health problems amongst uh, children. Uh, a lot of cases of sexual abuse as, as have occurred in, in England, although but probably the bigger problem is physical abuse. So um, we're trying different ways, um, trying to focus more services on children who are vulnerable. And the fourth lecture tries to bring them the three other issues together by looking at what kind of research really is most helpful when we want to ch change children's lives for the better. And um, obviously one of the areas of research has been actually talking to children, getting them to be able to tell us what it is about their lives, what their experiences are. In New Zealand we've been asking the question of professionals whether they're sufficiently tuned in to what children are saying. That's just one issue I pick out. Um, because often they talk to adults, they talk to the birth parents, they talk to foster parents, they talk to other professionals like lawyers, but very often children become forgotten in that process. And uh, one of the ways that we can actually do better in protecting children is if we know what their experiences are. Um, y you've had terrible scandals in the UK as we have in New Zealand where there's been abuse, in some cases sexual abuse, in relation to the media, in relation to children in foster care and for many years those children nobody believed them and so um, I think professionals have got to be much more sensitive to provide a more supportive environment for children to be able to 
to speak. Children in foster care need the opportunity to make complaints if things aren't going well. I mean, these children are already traumatised. They've, for whatever reason, had to be removed from their parents through no fault of their own. And yet many times it's very difficult to find a place for them. You need especially sensitive, well-trained people to be able to respond to those needs. And quite often governments are reluctant to put sufficient funding into resourcing those situations for children. So those are just some of those issues. Um, the School of Advanced Study has been an excellent base for me. Um, I'm used to working within a university setting. I need an, a good library, I need colleagues to talk to, um, I need uh, other stimulating things that are going on and I'm looking forward to participating in many of those during my three months in London.